I guess many have heard of Asante Achimagogo in the Ashanti region of Ghana. It is a very cool and nice town with a serene environment. This town contains a lot of facilities as compared to some urban centers. And also it is a lively place to live. This building you see over there contains the Salt FM and also the Asante Achimura Bank. There are a lot of people who sell by the roadside. The building you see with the red roofing is the post office in the town. This building you see with the car in front is the old post office. This road leads us to the Agogo Presbyterian Hospital, Ghana, and also Agogo Presbyterian Women's College of Education as well. This is the wall of the hospital. Agogo Presbyterian Hospital is one of the best hospitals we have here in Ghana. It is also equipped with modern tools and machines that helps in health services. So inside the hospital, we have the Nursing and Midwifery College. And I hope you know that Agogo Presbyterian Nursing and Midwifery College is one of the best in Ghana. Lest I forget, Collins Senior High School and Agogo State Senior High School are all located here in Asante Achimagogo and also the Presbyterian University College as well. This is the Presbyterian Women's College of Education you see. This school was established in the year 1932. So now you can see how old the school is. So now there's no doubt Agogo is surrounded with the best facilities in Ghana. <laughs> is that almost everything in Agogo is Presbyterian. Another common thing is the weather and the town being surrounded by mountains and hills. So many people compare the weather in Agogo to that in London. Mostly towns surrounded by mountains and hills have cold weather conditions. <laughs> So guys, this part brings us to the end of our vlog in Agogo. So let's continue to see some of the towns we come across when heading to Kumasi from Agogo. Right after Agogo is Shidim. Shidim is also a cool town with a lot of public schools. So from Shidim, this is all you would see by the road before you get to a different town. Come with me. If you're new on my channel, this is Pendis Avenue. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly do to get more of this. Now let's continue. Janza. That's a minute's drive from Shidim. So there's a junction in Jansa where on your right leads to Damiabra and also our Romain Senior High School. It's like every town within the Asante Achim Ago Community Power Assembly has a lot of public schools. Asante Achim is a true definition of vegetation and virgin forest. Just have a look at nature, the trees and everything. I mean, God is wonderful. We have Chechebiase also, and also a town called Patrensa. So before you get to Patrensa, there's a taxi rank, and that place is called Krofa Junction. So it's a single road from Patrensa, but when it gets to the Krofa Junction, you see two separate routes. Road on your left leads to Mosul, Krofa and other towns, while the right leads to the main town of Patrensa. We are almost at Konongo Odumase, and we all know that there's this famous SHS in Konongo Odumase, and that is the Konongo Odumase Senior High School. The road from Konongo leads to Accra, and also, the road on your left from Krofa Junction to Mosul and Krofa also leads to Accra. 
So now, here we are at Konongo Odumase. Let's have a look at the place. So this is a very big Roman church in Konongo. So immediately you get to the town, you see old women selling by the roadside and sometimes young ladies as well. Konongo Odumase is one of the biggest towns within the Asante Ache Municipal Assembly. You get to see big churches. There's net office, hospitals, court of law, and others. This is one of the biggest Roman church in Konongo. It contains a school as well. So right behind the walls of the Roman church are shops and a full filling station. So that's what you see in the video. <laughs> Now, we have moved from Konongo, so this road is leading us to Nobuem. Before you get to Nobuem, there is this big industrial camp you see alongside the road, with heavy cars packed in front of it. This is Nobuem. Have a very good look at the town. So guys, there are a lot of towns you will come across if you are moving from Agogo, Asante Achim, to Kumase. There are some of the towns I couldn't mention in the video because some of the towns are not by the roadside and you wouldn't come across when you're heading towards Kumase, although they are within the Asante Ache Municipal Assembly. New Koforidia is not one of them, but I forgot to make mention of it. And so, for the towns I'm talking about, we have the Nyampnase, Chechebiase, Ekutiase as well, Yoso. More so, Adonfe, and others. So, this is the town, New Koforidia, and that's their signpost you see over there. I don't really know why this town is called New Koforidia because we all know that Koforidia is in the eastern region of Ghana, and I think there are lots to this name. This place is also called Duyapompo. The name sounds very funny and I don't really know the secret behind this name. So there is a fuel station in Diapompo. So the fuel station is the first thing you see when entering the town Diapompo from Kumasi. So now there is also another town called Kubasi. And Kube in my local dialect is coconut. And Asi also means under. So, the combination of coconut and under is going to give us something like coconut under or under coconut. So, something like coconut under or under coconut is kube ase in my local dialect. And don't forget, I said kube means coconut in English and ase means under in English. If you don't really understand tree, so that's part of my tree lessons. So come along and learn the tree dialect with me as well. So this is one of the beautiful hotels you will come across. It has a serene environment as well. So we are now at Hreso. I don't know if I got the name right. It is a beautiful town as well. We are now at Buanka. I hope a lot of people have heard of Buanka because there is a very big project going on in this town. If you've never heard of it, let me give you a clue. Have you heard? A port is going to be built at Buanka and it has been named the Buanka Port. Yeah, this is the town and that is the ongoing project over there. I can't just wait to have a look at how the port is going to be like because the land is very, very big. So guys, we are yet to get to Ejoso and through to Kenya West and we are in Kumasi already. Guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.